Okay, let's learn how to find the z-score given the remaining component of the z-score. For example, given the population mean, population standard deviation, and the data value. And also, we're going to find the x value or random variable x given the remaining component, which is the mean, standard deviation, and z-score. And also, I'm going to show you how to find the population standard deviation given the remaining component as you see in this case so you know uh, based on these right i'm going to show you actually if you use z-score well there is a standard form of z-score i believe we already know that so recall the z-score so z-score is equal to x minus the population mean over population standard deviation again I want to recall it actually. So what is the meaning of z-score is basically how many standard deviation, how many standard deviation the data value away from the mean. That's the definition of a z-score. Okay. So I'll, what is given? What is known? So let's take a look here. So data, data value is given. Here you go. That's the data value is going to come down here. And of course, this one is the population mean. So we're just going to plug that in there. And also the population standard deviation is going to go right in there. Okay, so uh, let's work it out. First, substitute it. So if we substitute x is given as a 70, so 70 minus population mean is given as a 78 over standard deviation in this case is given as a 10. So we just simplify it. If you have a little calculator right you can just put down 70 minus 78 divided by 10 it should give you negative 0 0.80 okay remember by default we have to round z score to the 100 plus okay so that's how we find the z score okay so and basically it tells you below the mean 0.8 standard deviation as the location of that z-score. Well, let's take a look on the next one. So, well, this said given, as you clearly see, there is a z-score given. Right away, by default, if z-score is given, we can write down this formula right away. z is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation. Okay? So, right away, we write that formula down, right? So, what is given? Look, they give you the z-score, they give you the standard deviation, and they give you the population mean. So while z-score is given, so I'm going to put down the z-score here, right below the z, 2.75 is equal to x, we don't know the x, it's unknown, minus mean, which is 65, and standard deviation, which is 15. So I want to actually show you, arrow it down to you guys. So Check it out. That's the mean, and this is the population standard deviation, and this one is not known. And of course, the score is given as here, right? Okay. So one thing is not known. Re recall the algebra class a little bit. Proportion. If you have two fraction, you can easily cross multiply, cross product. So I can actually divide this by one actually let's do this here divide by this one still the value is going to be the same okay so i can say one times the whole thing so it's going to give us x minus 65 is equal to 15 times 2.75 15 times 2.75 and it should give you 41 point Two five clearly as you see right now we're going to solve for x so you add 65 in both side add 65 in both side x is equal to this gives us 106.25 so that's our x value that's how we find the x value let's take a look on the next one so again Z score is given, so right away, or they ask you to find the Z score, right away, this is the formula we use. Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. This is the formula right away we use. So, what is given, you just 
plug that in so 0 0.75 is equal to x in this case is given as a 75 minus population mean is given as a 55 over standard deviation we don't know that standard deviation so that is basically unknown as you clearly see that's unknown we don't know that right well this is a sigma okay this is not o it's called sigma population standard deviation again same deal you want to divide by one so or you simplify it actually basically i would love to simplify it actually before i even divide so how do we simplify we can say 0 0.75 is equal to you have 75 minus 55 if you do this mentally or any way use your calculator it's going to give you 20 over standard deviation so as a simplify or you can simplify later actually it's up to you okay so now i can divide by one so i'm going to just cross multiply i want to get my variable on the left side and of course some students says butterfly again it's only possible when you have two fraction okay you cross product and of course 0 0.75 sigma standard deviation i put down the parentheses equal to 20. so divided by now we're going to divide by 7 0 0.75 the coefficient in both sides 0 0.75 so this cut cancel our standard deviation is equal to standard deviation is equal to well if you divide it is going to give you 26.67 so i would love to write as an approximation remember we round things up so it's approximation 26.67 again our standard deviation by default we know it should be uh, positive always positive unless otherwise there is a uh, setup of the question is a little bit awkward okay so that's how we actually find the remaining one or one unknown given three remaining okay thank you very much i hope you understand how to find the unknown